Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this absolute value inequality. And we're going to show, solve this absolute value inequality by setting up our two cases. And when we set up our two cases with an inequality, we're going to create a compound inequality. Um, and when, it's when you have an absolute value that's greater than or equal to or just greater than, um, you're going to set up a compound inequality that's going to be in the form of or. So therefore, I have 5z plus 1 is greater than or equal to 14. And now I need to create the uh, second of that, which is 5z plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 1. All right, so we need to create our, our two cases, just like an equation. But remember, when we're dealing with an inequality, we're now going to create, um, we now need to flip this, change the sign when we make that negative, And now we're going to use the inequality in the or. So I just solve for each one. So I subtract 1, subtract 1. Here I have 5z is greater than or equal to uh, 13. And then over here, oops, negative 14. I don't know where negative 1 came in. Here, I subtract 1, subtract 1. I have 5z is less than or equal to negative 15. Divide by 5 on both sides. And I have z is greater than or equal to 13 over 5, which is um, almost going to be 3. It's going to be 2 in some decimal. And here, this would be z is less than or equal to negative 3. So now, I'm going to go and create, graph these on the same um, line. And I notice that you know this is roughly approximately like two point, I don't know, we'll see where it's at. 13 divided by 5, 2.6. It's actually not approximately, it actually equals 2.6. Um, yeah, which would be 3, 3 tenths, so, um, or 3 fifths, which would be 6 tenths. Good, got it, point 0.6. Um, so therefore, I have greater than or equal to 2.6 or less than or equal to negative 3. So on my graph, I'm going to want to make sure I contain 2.6 and negative 3. So let's have 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So I go to 2.6, which is like right here, make a circle. I go to negative 3, which is right here. And then I notice this is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in each one of these circles. Then it says greater than or equal to 2.6. So that means all the values that are larger than 2.6. Well, that's going to be all the numbers to the right. And then this is less than or equal to 3. So that's going to be all numbers that are less than or equal to negative 3, which are going to be to the left. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph your compound in, or your absolute value inequality by creating a compound inequality for two cases. Thanks.